Welcome to Better Daily Life, where we are moving forward one percent better every single day. Download the app and supercharge your journey at BetterDaily.life. Now it's time to get back and get back with your host and my dad, Alex Van Houten. What is up, Betterment family? This is Alex Van Houten in Better Daily Live. Happy Thursday. It is Word Thursday, and today's word is Faithful 40 Challenge. I'm very excited to bring this word to you. The Faithful 40 Challenge is our community challenge, and it's an organized one wherein we all together participate in something to move us forward. And and here's the thing. So in Better Daily, we have organized challenges and we have ongoing challenges. And our ongoing challenges are like the hashtag lift 100 or the hashtag run 100 or the hashtag walk 100. If you don't know what those are, search them in the app and check out the posts. And you can join those things at any time and you can be a part of keeping yourself accountable in the, in the community and also a part of moving yourself forward in your betterment journey, but we also have a scheduled challenge, an organized challenge, and this is the Faithful 40 Challenge. In past years, we've done two a year. We've done four a year. This year, we're doing three this year, and the Faithful 40 Challenge is 40 days where you commit to making a commitment post in the Better Daily community, and that post consists of certain things which we'll talk about in just a second, but it's really important because on Word Thursday, I generally share meditations on a word. In, in today's word, obviously, with Faithful 40 Challenge, that operative word is challenge there. A challenge is something difficult that you take on voluntarily to help you grow. We just talked about this with one of our community members who went live with me to share his big win in the Grow Ruck Challenge. The Grow Ruck is, a, is an event, and we talked through some of the difficult things and some of the wins in there and how he trained for it. And then that dark headspace you get to about halfway through a challenge where you're like, whose dumb idea was this? And why am I even doing this to begin with? And perhaps I'm not even going to finish this, What whatever the case might be. And we talked about how... That's where we grow the most, and, and the Faithful 40 Challenge is like that. So we picked 40 days on purpose. 40 days is a great amount of time to develop a habit. So if you have a habit you're trying to develop with regard to your mindset, your nutrition, or your exercise, 40 days is an awesome amount of time to develop that habit and to use our group to help you do so. So let's say that you have a desire to start walking every day. You're not currently walking every day, but you have a desire to do so. And so you commit to the 40 faithful 40 challenge and, and you say, okay, for the next 40 days, I am going to walk every day and I'm going to post about it. That's going to be part of my exercise piece. So you can say, Hey, I walked two miles today, or Hey, I walked three miles today, or I was only able to get in five minutes when I first woke up, but I got 15 minutes in at lunchtime. So 20 total minutes today, right? And, and you do that for 40 days. Well, what's crazy is the 40 day challenge of walking every day establishes that habit for you. So after the challenge is over, that habit of walking every day is not only something you learn from, but it's something that you continue with. And that's, that's well borne out in the research around habits in psychology. 40 days is necessary. It's a necessary amount of time for things to become habitual for you to to just kind of fall into it on accident rather than having to make a purposeful choice every day. So the 40 day challenge is a really awesome way to do that. 40 days also happens to be a, a biblical number. This is like the, the amount of time for endurance or difficulty, or it's also thought of as the time of testing, right? So 40 days is the amount of amount of time the Bible says that it rained with uh, Noah's Ark, or 40 days and 40 nights is the amount of time Elijah and Moses and Jesus fasted and, and were tested in their ministries, right? So 40 days is also the amount of time that Goliath taunted the Israelites before David popped him in the head with the slingshot and put an end to that whole thing. So that, that said, 40 days is a time of, of testing. And this Faithful 40 Challenge gives you an opportunity to put yourself through 
testing voluntarily. And that's the deep part of a challenge, right? Because we face challenges every day that aren't always our decision. And well, that's, that's hard because involuntary challenge affects us differently than voluntary challenge. Involuntary means you didn't choose that. It just kind of happened to you. And so when you face challenges that are involuntary, it's very stressful. It's very difficult. And, and a lot of times you're looking for a way out of those things. But the faithful 40 challenge is a voluntary challenge. Nobody's making you do this. I can't make you make your commitment post. Your team leader can't make you do the nutrition things you set out to do, right? But you are voluntarily challenging yourself and you're using the accountability of community and, you know, the pings that we do and stuff that say, hey, this is day seven, make your post. Hey, this is day 13, let's knock this thing out. Hey, this is day 33, finish strong. You're using that structure to keep yourself challenged. And when you take on a challenge, voluntarily. It affects you differently. It affects you differently at the level of your body. It affects you differently at the level of your mind. It affects you differently at the level of your spirit. And by the end of a challenge that you've taken on voluntarily, you grow. You grow through that thing because of the way it affects you. It's the difference between running from a mountain lion (laughs) <laughs> which is very stressful and difficult and tears the body down, but that's okay because as long as you survive to fight another day, did its mechanism, right? R- run away. Run away from that involuntary challenge. That's different from going for a run this morning because you know running is good for you. It's challenging to get out of bed. It's challenging to make yourself get out there. It's challenging to put your shoes on. It's challenging to keep going when you want to stop. But, But when you take on challenges voluntarily you grow rather than get torn down. And that is the magic of the Faithful 40 Challenge. In the Faithful 40 Challenge, we as a community commit to moving forward in our mindset, our nutrition, and our exercise. And and you'll see that in the Faithful 40 Challenge registration form, you'll see there's an opportunity to line out. What are your goals over the next 40 days? What do you hope to accomplish? What are some obstacles that you foresee coming up in the next 40 days. And you'll see that there is a mindset component, a nutrition component, and an exercise component. Mindset is like, hey, every day I'm going to check my mindset. I'm going to take a little time to to chew on a some song lyrics or a Bible verse or a quote or maybe even just a word that, that is going to overarch in, in umbrella my day. And, and many people in the Faithful 40 Challenge find this to be the most meaningful thing for them to engage in and the most meaningful thing for them to see other people engage in in the group. Because when they see a mindset that says, my mindset today is keep on keeping on even though I don't feel like it. Or something like that. Or or my mindset today is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. When you read other individuals saying, this is my mindset today, it helps you. It bolsters you. And, And sometimes during the challenge, you're not feeling great about what's going on today, but you need to to borrow a mindset from somebody in the group. And that would be just fine. So mindset is a big component of the Faithful 40 Challenge and a big component of our daily commitment posts. And then we have nutrition as a big component. Some individuals in the the Faithful 40 Challenge, including myself, we will journal our food in MyFitnessPal and we will post our our food journals and our macronutrients for everybody to see. And also so that we can see if there's anything to improve in ourselves. And and that's a, that's an awesome thing because some people say, Oh, I like that snack. I'm going to steal that snack from Alex because he likes that snack and it's simple and it's great protein, fat and fiber. And so sweet or, or some individuals will, instead of journaling all their food, they'll just count things like sugar. Like, Hey, I'm trying to keep my sugars under 40 grams per day, every day. So today, I had 37 grams of sugar. Boom. Way to go. Oh man. Today I had 62 grams of sugar and a lot of that came from ketchup. I didn't, I had no idea there was so much sugar and ketchup. Like, wow, now I know. And, and so, so people will focus on what it is they need to change with regard to their nutrition. We have one individual in our community right now who's working to make fasting a part of their normal practice. And so they have a fasting window and a feeding window and they'll be reporting on that during the Faithful 40 Challenge. Nutrition is a huge component, feeding yourself well and moving forward 1% better. So use this Faithful 40 Challenge to either evaluate your old habits or establish 
some new ones. And last but not least is exercise. In the Faithful 40 Challenge, we all commit to our exercise as we need. Some of us are doing multiple sessions of weight training each week and multiple sessions of running each week. And we're part of the lift 100 and walk 100. And so we'll just be journaling our exercise intention with regard to our current program. But there are some individuals in our community who aren't currently exercising regularly. And so they'll use the exercise portion of the Faithful 40 post to report on what they intend to do today. And and like I said, maybe you're trying to to start a walking regimen or maybe you're you're going to try to push yourself in some cardiovascular exercise by finding a nice hill to walk up or or going on some walk jogs or getting on a row machine or doing some swimming. Whatever that looks like for you, I'm excited for you to move yourself forward in your exercise program as well. Our Faithful 40 challenge is my favorite time to be a part of the Better Daily community. It's pretty awesome on the regular, but there's just something special about our community coming together and committing to taking on voluntary challenges to grow themselves. I like to say that 1% better is not a lot. Most people can't argue with incremental improvement of 1% better. It sounds doable. It is doable. But doing it isn't always easy. And so I encourage you, use the Faithful 40 Challenge to be accountable to our community and to move yourself forward because it really is just 1%. But that doesn't mean it's easy. Guys, this has been Alex Van Houten in Better Daily Live for Word Thursday, talking about the Faithful 40 Challenge. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, which is Flex Friday. We're going to get into the athleticism phase of program design, and that'll be awesome. Until then, it's just 1%. You got this. Thank you for joining us for your 1% better. Be you, just better, in mind, body, and spirit. Go to betterdaily.life, download our app, and check out our five-star coaching resources. We all have a cross to carry. It's lighter when we do it together. Go to betterdaily.life today.